Ahí te puedo ver tu banda. Pawaki dunga pawaki daro pawaki ta amori mori nui no rangi kita amori mori nui no papa. Ae rongo i hai o te nga te pau te pau kātu e kore uia e kore ngarui e kore hinga e kore warada e tu nai te pau. E nai te pau kore ro katuku atu ra te o tata nei mate. E nei ano hoki te muri muri aroha te o koe te nga peka peka re re po. Koe te au koe kai puru te a ke ra ki te ngau horo naue o tu o waka re re. Kei ngā mate o te waiti nei. Koe te au toromi atu ra ki te ta utu o te rangi. A hakoa kua ngū tō koutou reo rope rope ki te ao tūroa nei. Kei rotu i te pai o mau mahara i te nei wā. Nō rei rā tēnei te tuku atu rā. A te reo o te hunga kāinga. A kua atu mai rā ki tō tātou nei wā kātūtanga i te nei wā. Koutou ki koutou e moi, au wai te moi e da dau. Hoki tō rotika mai rā ki tātou i te nei wā. Ki tātou a te hunga ora. Wai wā i nei a te āta wakarite ri te ngā mai. Ai ora ngā tonu tanga mō tātou, te tangata, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou. Anā ko hoki mai rā, tō tātou nei waka atu ranga, te kohu kā rewa. Aha ko koe nā te ingoa nei, ko a tau ki waho rā, taku pari i te nei wā, ko a tau ria kētia mai rā te papa e te kohu. Te mana ko nui, a muri ake tō tātou nei waka atu ranga, kā rewa, ka kitia mai rā te mārama tanga. Nō rira mehi ka waka rā ki koutou. Ko a tātou mai rā anō hoki te toko wā, Tō tātou nei pai, tō tātou nei tūranga kōrero. E āta wete wete aere, tātari aere i ngā kōrero nō ngā mātua. E whai mārmatanga anō hoki i wai hongia mai rāi o tātou nei mātua. Nō rira nau mai, hara mai, wakatau mai rā. Ana, i tēnei waka tuku atu rā ki tēnā, ki tēnā, e roto i runga i tō tātou nei pai. Mehi atu rā a ki koutou e whai wāhi nei te mātaki taki mai. Me te mei anō oki ki te korimako o taranaki kawea ki tēnei o ngā momo hangarau ki ngā tō peto o te ao. Me hi kawake rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou e tau, e rā rau. Kei a koe, Jamie. Tēnā koe, te poi i tēnā rā tātou. Tautuku ana i ngā mei ki ho tātou mate. Nō reira, ui ui a mai rā ho tātou mate. Tērā o ngā waine, ngā kuia. Nō rotu ana mai rā i a muau poko. Pua Wai Reti, Nanny Lovey, nō te wānau tukupua, nā kā mihi ki a koe e wai e kui, kua ngaro nei ki o rārangi mātua ki te pō nō reira. Ko koutou rā ki a koutou, ko ki oe nei mai rā ki a tātou e te pai kōrero, tēnā tātou me te kaupapa kei mui te aroaro. Nō reira koutou rā e te motu e te ao, nau mai o ki mai rā ki a piri koutou, ki a tata koutou ki tēnei pai kōrero, me tō tātou manu nei te kori mako, me tōna kōrero, tui tui a ui ui a mai rā tātou ki te kōrero i ngā kōrero a ngā mātua, koe te anō rā ko ngā kōrero o tēnei waka tupuranga nō reira tēnā rā tātou. Kia ora tātou, hea hā rā te manu ko taku reo wiri rangi te manu, hei kawe i ngā kupu kōrero i tēnei pō, ki a koutou e wakarongo mai ana. Kia pēnei rā te kōrero uru uru atu ai tātou ki roto ki te ware o te kori mako. Kia rongo ai te kōkō i te pō, te tikanga i te ata hoi anō e kōkō mai ana te kori mako i te pō nei. Kia koutou e wakarongo mai ana. Wā ia rā te ia o te kupu waka mii ki o tātou mate, te rā hononga kia kura au pō, he mii ana e tangi ana. O e nō, tangi ana ki te wānau. Koutou katoa, e pā kaua nei tēnei mea te mate e mii ana, e tangi ana ki a koutou, o tira, ki a are rā koutou. Hurihia, ki a tātou i tēnei pō, moi, tēmi, aotea, mii ana, te pōi. O e nō, ki a are ngā mii, ki a are ngā mate, o e nō, ki a are tonu tō tātou kaupapa i tēnei pō. Kia ora tātou e mui. Tēnā tātou i te mea e whai ana i te ia o te kōrero mo te manu nō reire mata uru uru ka rire te manu e ngari mā ona parirau kātou. Ta parirau e kōrero nei, 
koia pe ko ngā rau awa awa ngā, ngā rawa kei te kōrero tia nei te inoi nei i a tātou ki te motu uh, ko au te nei moi uh, e, e oi o nore ki te tauru mai ki roto i ngā kōrero i ngā rimeta whakaoro nui o ki i tiki nā atu e Jamie ko rātou ko a uh, ko kaipunu tia atu rā ki ngā ringa ringa rā iri o ine nui uh, tērā e E, ngau oro nawe nawe ana rā kāre ana niho e pū ukitia ko i te ao, ko i te pō ko i te pō, ko i te ao ko i anō koutou rā tērā uh, me te manako nei e pukaro tia nei mātou e koutou ngā tikanga i tukuna mai e koutou e koi mai e koro mai te pō o tino tātou i te ao te ao tūroa tēnei a au o tino a o te ao Oi anō, tō tātou maunga nā nā anō te pau e ringa waka mō tātou mm. katoa. Uh, tēnei me i atu ana ki a tātou. Kia ora tātou katoa. Uh, tēnā, tēnā koutou te, te hanga nei, kua hanga manu mai rā tātou i tēnei pō. Uh, te rā pia, uh, mā, uh, te hunga mā taki, taki e, e whai wahi kō wai rā, te ruru kō wai rā, te kore mako kō wai rā, te pi wai waka kō wai rā, anā ngā manu o te, te ngahiri. Hoi anō, mihi ka wakera ki tātou mea tātou nei kaupapa. So welcome back to Te Kohu Kārewa. And um, we're uh, looking forward to, to tonight's show. And we know that we've got some uh, kōrero we would like to, to share with everybody. Um, if uh, this is uh, your first time uh, watching this show, this, uh, this particular show, uh, we come together and we discuss and we uh, have a look at uh, particular kōrero tukuiho, uh, some narratives, um, whether they be karakiatanga kōrero, whether they be from waiata, uh, whether they be from tuhinga no ngā mātua. Um, we have a look at it and we, we just sort of analyse it and um, we've made this show bilingual as well, uh, um, just so that we can reach a wider audience. And we know also that uh, a lot of our wānau are doing studies as well. And so um, I hope this is uh, part of the resources that you can uh, use. Um, we... Um, we the, the panel here, the pipe boy here, um, we've um, done a little bit of research our, ourselves, and but um, go out to the wider field and the wider Fano and just ask some of your wider Fano uh, about particular reading uh, or So uh, this, uh, so what we have here is just to share a little bit, so that you can uh, just whet your appetite a little bit, I suppose, uh, to some of the corridor that we have. So we'll go um, to our first uh, first slide for tonight. And they thought that they. Uh, tuhi tuhinga, he kara kia tanga kōrero, uh, te rapea wai ho mā, mā mō i tēnei uh, wāanga hei kōrero tanga uh, mā tēnei kara kia. Tēnā koe mō i. Um, yeah, kia ora te pohi. I, I just, uh, just want to make, uh, ref, uh, just refer back to te pohi's uh, kōrero there around um, some of the kōrero that we gather, we're fortunate enough to have and share out to, uh, to us all. Um, I, I just it reminds me of a, of a saying that uh, Luka Matua used to say, and um, I think it's quite relevant for now because I know we've got three waka and sharing all our um, our, uh, our narratives and kōrero today it might be good to as a reminder to, for us and that the of this particular uh, waka toki uh, call it and it goes uh, tō piki amakura no. Uh, toku piki amu kura noku. Maybe I should have got that up, but in essence, it talks about uh, 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 you, you have your house of learning and I have mine. Um, and that is to say that we all acknowledge everybody's uh, knowledge base and, and where they uh, gain that knowledge. And, and it's just to say that um, the, 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 sh the quarter that we're sharing tonight and anywhere within your journey around uh, Tōtātou maunga, that any kōrero you have as similarities, you're, you're going to hear similarities. And not to say that one is wrong from the other, it's just that one has a variation of the other or uh, uh, along a similar line. And it's just that the way the old people saw it and they had a worldview and it's a test contested on the worldview that they understood. So I, I make that, I should have made that right at the beginning, but something for a reminder for us that when we have something to share, just bear in mind that this is one uh, version or one kōrero, and I'm sure that you've probably heard of others, um, and and you're wondering why are they different. And so, 
we can look at that pakatoki later but anyway so coming back to tane matahue uh this karakia is one uh uh one series uh it's a it's it's one part of a karakia uh part of the uh what they call the oara odara sorry and there are a series of karakias obviously there's there's quite a few and this is just one part of it and having said that this is not all of it so it, we've deliberately put it down in, in in this fashion to be able to just get some see what we can get take uh take it from this so uh the tane uh that we're looking at and um i'm going to assume we're coming from ground zero so when we talk about tane matahue no my kaupiri no my kaupata normally some you hear this and a lot of openings around uh, Maunga Taranaki and some of our people who are well versed in this, you make, make mention of this in the middle or somewhere during the, the, the opening process of uh, Tūwera Tangawhare. And uh, if you're very lucky, you would have heard Matua Ruka, who actually does this. He's on he's on tape. There are tapes of him who's actually um, re, re, uh, reciting this and you can actually hear him. But this part, particular part, anyway, na tane matahue, no my kaupiri, no my kaupata. So uh, uh, in this part here, talking about tane in as many forms, because the matahue talks about, we know that tane has quite a few names, and you know some of our other karakia that talks about, uh, excuse me, <coughs> tane te waiora, tane te whakaputa nei, tane tokorangi. So he's got many names. So. Tane Matehue is an inference of that about the, the many forms of Tane. So when you walk into the house if, or into a whare nui or a whare, you can appreciate that uh, everything within there is a form or another of Tane. Uh, whether it's the door beam, whether it's the uh, the roof, the, the ceiling, or whether it's one part of the, the wall. So it talks about the many features of Tane and these is uh, as he's represented in the Fare Nui or Fare Kai. Uh, so the reference there, inference there, Tane Matuhue. You uh, so this is about likening ourselves to to uh, what do they call it, personify a metaf metaphorical sense of talking to Tane, being near to me, be close to me. Uh, uh bring the occasion for me to be able to appreciate all right so the next part tenate here here tenate korunga tenate tukia tenate mate so the here here and in korunga uh, i guess you guys would know what that is but this is about who's actually doing this tenate here here tenate korunga who's actually doing this who's actually having these emotions as they're going in uh is it tane or is it the person who's reciting this so uh, for myself, I like to think that uh, this is an occasion, especially when you're talking about opening of a whare, it's quite an auspicious occasion. And so you're, you're going in there representative of all those things that you're, as a kai karakia or, or your people. Uh, so all those emotions come out and those, the ones that you really want to call on are the ones that are appropriate for this occasion and opening. So here is the desire, here is the... What's another word? Tete ano, tete kupu ano mo te desire. Kapoi jami. E koingo. Koingo, yeah. Uh, so here's the desire. Here is the uh, the willingness uh, as we enter within you. Tene to Tukia and the Tukia for myself. Uh, unless somebody else like to share that. Well, myself is thinking about things that you want to have achieved as the person going into Tane and Tene Te Mate. So there's two understandings for here that I, I've uh, uh, gleaned from this, uh, from my research. So one is the most obvious one in the old days when they used to open up a whare, put the tangata anō te utu. Uh, the person anō was the 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 payment for uh, an auspicious occasion like this of opening up a fare but also the mate in the other sense that it talks to me, for myself uh talks about those things like you know 
matete here here matete korunga. So uh, how do you how do you put that in English, Jamie? Tete uh, yatu ka matete te mahi. So you exhaust all your energies to achieve something uh, to come to fruition. Eh? So that's probably, what I do. Uh, by the probably mate. overwhelmed, overwhelmed. I by by the awe. Okay. Okay. So the mate myself, you know, ka, ka pau te kaha, mate te kaha, to exhaust your your energies towards the occasion. So. Tēnei te mate i kimi hia atu ai koe, uh, uh, kia mate ki te hia hia, kia mate ki te koronga. So, a, I, I, uh, this is about, uh, for, my, for myself, I see it as mankind or the uri or the descendants or those ones who have been given the occasion to open up this whare uh, and with everybody else that's involved in it, uh, that they, most, one, of the, one of the most obvious ones, I can give 100% towards the occasion and the energies that are required yeah so it's still it's talking the intention right um yeah. so you know tēnei te ia ia, tēnei te koronga. so it's it's really talking to that intention that desire um and i think it's really um it's really good mohi because it actually you know it, it reminds us that intention is really important when we look to um, not only perform karakia but also ceremony um, yeah. And for me, this is, you know, when I think about the opening of a house and um, and that process and what we're intending to do, because we're bringing new life and new opportunity. And so I think, you know, and this is really, this this speaks to that intention. So, kia pera te whakaaro te tangata, um, e mehe mea ka whakapau kaha te tangata, ki te aro, ki te kaupapa, ki te ia ia, ki te koronga. And I love that. You know, kuronga is another word for, um, you know, um, e ori te ki te ia ia, but it's, you know, um, yeah. and that for me as well, e kimi hi atu ai koe, kia mate ki te ia ia, mate ki te kuronga, because that's really getting us focused and our intentions sort of straight around the kaupapa at hand. Yeah, ka poi. Yeah, yeah no, I, I totally got the, um, the aspect of the waka, you know, ka tino waka pau kaha te tangata ki hangaia i tō tātou nei whare, uh, kia mate. You know, so just I'm just thinking about the, the exhaustion. So you've put everything into it, all your aspirations into it to make something come to fruition. Lovely. Kapai. Um, so in the last stanza there, they got e tāne matahue, tākina i te pū, tākina i te wū, tākina i tāka, tākina i te tāmore tau. For me, uh, it, it, it's about reminding us of... Um, going back to its origins going back to its beginning point um for myself like like anything i always look for the origins of something to understand why it is uh, as in its present form so in tane we all know uh tane and the many forms that he has matahue obviously uh way back herako so it's just and also reminding ourselves that the origins we were talking about the pu the wheel the tamore understanding that we have a beginning point that our roots uh uh it's like anything it's like our pepeha that's why we do our pepeha to understand our roots to understand how we all fit within this uh what we call the wahatai i suppose uh the sequence of life as far as mankind's concerned and how the symmetry is not too different and um uh, separate from te tai ao me te tangata, ko te tai ao te tangata, ko te tangata te tai ao. So there's always references about um, linking us back to those points. He called it one no. Cool. Kapai. Oh, hear me. Oh, you're on mute. No, I think the 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 structure and. Um use of imagery is uh, beautiful to me it speaks to um you know that raw form of tane and the way in which it's kind of the effort time and intent purpose um has transformed you know has transformed tane into the the, the place that is intended that makes sense and that last verse really references the 
the, the origins for the way in which Tane has come to be here. So it's almost like that that last reference uh, gives it gives a uh, gives a respect and um, attention to the origins for the way in which Tane as a tree grows. Going back to that first verse, talks about how how Tane has become transformed through Tene um, mea te hia hia te koronga te tukia i kimi hia te ai koe. Ni? Ana. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, I mean, I agree. Him. And so, again, Probably. you know, we, we, we've talked about um, te pū, te wil, te aka, but I think you, you've made a really good point, him, is that, and your point too, Mohi, you know, the taiao, but how the world view of our old people in terms of it speaks to that potential again, right? Um, yeah. You know, whether it's the potential of man or the potential of a material thing like a tree that has been carved or shaped to form a house. Um but all of that, all of that requires, you know, te ia ia te kuronga, te tukia. Yes, yes that's um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or, or um, yeah, to shape tāne into whatever is intended for a particular person, uh, for a particular purpose, yeah. Mm. So tēne mea tāne ma, mata hue, he nui ona mata, he nui ona uh, aronga, he nui ona kaupapa, he waka, he whare, he, he ipu, and I suppose I like the the fact that how it can align to uh, the the wakatukwere uh, the wakatukwere and uh, you know we we often hear tane waka piri piri, you know those uh, those terms again to give reference to to the house um, and the origins of tane. Uh, what I like about this particular um, uh, corridor is how it actually makes acknowledgement to the to the origins of tane, hooking that last verse there. And uh, so you know kakaranga tūra kia tane kia hara mai kia tautoko mai. And as as we know, the fari represents Tane, but uh, uh, people as well, and uh, and making acknowledgments to the origins of Tane back to the Pu Weu Aka Tamuri uh, Ananak. Yeah, so it's it's a beautiful little little. Oh, well, I shouldn't say little. <laughs> it's a beautiful uh, oh, put it in mind. The theme, right? the theme. You know, I guess, you know, um, ko tētei o ngā kaupapa he kōrero tanga mā tātou i te pōnei. Um, you know, hānga ana ki hēnei kōrero mō te tāi te kawa ki te ware. Um, mm. So just what we thought this evening is we'll just touch on um, some of those concepts in kōrero that relate to uh, the opening of a house. Um, and I guess this is a really, really useful sort of place to start from, mohi, you know, mm. ka hoki atu ki a tāne. Uh, tāne mata ue. Um, hey, mohi, is there more context to the um, the, 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 the karakia? Well, it, it's it's a it, it, it's it, um, it's been pulled out of uh, the Oda library. Yeah, it's one you know it's one stanza of all those many other karakia there. Yeah. Um, and that second one that we haven't got up yet, but that's you know, so that's all part of that um, of those stanzas. So, mm. but if you Thanks. see how what, what, how they've talked about it in there, when they talk about ruruku, for me, I think you know this is the placing of those karakia that tell us they they tell a they tell a narrative why one comes before the other, which comes after the other, which so on and so on, and and you can actually see that in there when the and the explanations and you know there's an example here. Obviously, this is somewhere way at the front with all the other karakia that go in and each part of those other karakia talk about this, uh, what's going on at that next stanza, whatever that stanza is focusing in on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, and so the te Odara for those of our whānau listening, I mean, very sort of, I guess, the, uh, yeah, there's a number of karakia which come together and uh, many of you have probably heard... Uh, 
her tupuakawa, um, tupuakawa being a part of te aurara. Um, some of the writings sort of talk about that being te aurara o te wahine, o te wahine te aurara. Um, you got te toronga e maru, uh, so there's a number of these particular kara, karakia that formed uh, this body of karakia called te aurara, which uh, Mohi has referenced. Mm -hmm. And they really speak about our origins and how we came to be in all aspects, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Great. Kapai. 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 Uh, pia uh, mato ki koutou, tātou, e i tēnei mea te kawa. Um, I tēnei mea te kawa, ana, ana i hetahi tauira, ko tiki na mai rā i hetahi o ngā karakia, me hetahi o ngā poe o ngā mātua. Um, and so we just thought that, you know, often we talk about tikanga and kawa, and I thought maybe just drawing on some examples about, um, and the references to kawa in our karakia and our poi. Um, and so we've got three examples here of references. Ko tupua kawa, ko tawito kawa. We'll come back to that. We've got turu turu te kawa, waka mana te kawa, he kawa ora, ko te kawa nā rangi nui e tūnei, he kawa ora. Uh, and then the third one here, haruru te kawa. Haruru ki uta, haruru te kawa, haruru ki tai, haruru ki a tai kura tapu. Um, and so if we start with ko tupua kawa, ko tawito kawa, um, you know, this was huirangi. You know, when we reflect and think back to Huirangi, um, you know, he often um, spoke about uh, the natural law, L-O-R-E, um, you know, the, yeah, the natural law um, and uh, the ancient law. So that law, the nat natural law, if you, if you like, so, you know, it was the sort of natural law um, and all of those aspects that sort of form um, and shape our understanding and our ways of being is how I sort of describe it. And when we think about tupua kawa, um, that, that natural law, um, tawito kawa, those ancient things that have shaped who we are and our behaviours and our ways of being. Um, and so, you know, we've got a reference to kawa in that context. Um, <coughs> then, you know, we have, a, we have another example here, turu turu te kawa. So... Um, you know, when we think about turu turu again, we've talked about paua. Um, so turu turu te kawa, waka mana te kawa. Uh, so we're acknowledging and affirming uh, this concept of kawa. Uh, he kawa ora. And so it, it, it is life-giving, right? It gives us uh, uh, that, that dynamic well-being. Um, and there's a reference here, ko te kawa nā rangi nui e tūnei. Um, so that which sort of comes from whether you want to say the celestial elements, but uh, from Ranginui. And, you know, in a lot of our karakia, you'll see reference to, you know, heke mai te kawa ora, you know, and referencing Ranginui or Māori, you know, tēnei te Māori, ko te Māori o Ranginui e tūnei, um, and he kawa ora. And then the third one, haruru te kawa, uh, really interesting because it's saying, you know, mohio tātou hiaha me, tēnei me te haruru, um, and so the picture here I love because it's saying haruru te kawa. If, if it's shaking and resonating around us, hea tera, it, then, it's, then the kawa is alive, right? It's felt, it's heard. You know, all of those senses are going on. Haruru kiuta. Um, inland haruru te kawa, haruru kitai. So it's talking about, you know, so let it be, let, let it surround us. Haruru kia tai kura tapu. Um, and we've talked over uh, some of the weeks around this concept of kura. Um, and then we've got a reference to tapu here. Um, and I'll leave it there. So, and if we sort of talk about sort of this relationship between kawa and tapu, te rapia he kōrero au him. Ka, ka rehe nui ngā kōrero hei tāpiritanga, e pai, pai tō whakamāruma. Um, uh, hmm, maybe Mohi. Well, not not really. I mean, um, uh, you know, Kaoti Pei, Jamie, um, all I, you know, with the cover, 
the Tafita Kwara Kawa, you know, the I, I just can remember we don't even when he used to do this and he'd give the translation of, you know, the first principles of of, of um from time memorial. He was that was his wording. First principles from time immemorial. Uh, <laughs> which brings back to memory another. <laughs> we'll, we'll stay on this this road. Um, it talks about you know the, the ancient law of um, that goes way back there, way before even you know they call it the they, they talk about Jurassic period. You know all those periods during the dinosaurs and all of that. So this is talking about way before that that commits the things that are today is, is always referenced back to those to those sayings that was well, that that karakia. and then and another saying we know that kaba means another word for karakia, but that's another kōrero. Uh Well, so, well kōrero tia te ra, uh, mohi. Um, so an understanding that when we have the kawa takina te kawa. Uh, you might, you, some of the, our people may have heard people go talking at the cover or to the cover, talking at the cover, which talks about the, um, I, I can't think of the right English word, but it's about um, reciting uh, the ancient rituals, uh, which is cover yeah. is another way of understanding cover. Others you say was another word for karakia, the, the true sense of the word karakia as our old people knew it. And I'm mm. talking pre European, pre Bible days. So, uh, that's another way of understanding kawa in the, for those ones who have had that under, have been um, lucky to uh, hear that uh, explained from other people of uh, knowledge. Yeah, I suppose um, I, I used to hear uh, Uirangi go um, talk about the life principles um, and also the natural law and order uh, yeah. that brings about growth. You know, and he was always talking about how you, how, um, it's not how we manipulate, it's the growth and development from the ancient memories. And it brings forth and it also inspires or it also brings to fruition the next step of a growing phase. Um, I remember him sort of talking uh, like that. Uh, as in reference to Tupua Kawa, uh, the life's principles and the ancient natural law and order. So he always talked about this law and order uh, that continually takes place. Um, you can be aware of it or you can be unaware of it. Um, but uh, those who have sort of been in a space, especially in the natural world, be very aware of the Tupua Kawa and the Tapito Kawa just happening so just life's principles happening while you are conscious or you can be conscious and and and, and aware um, but now uh, we take note of that and also i remember him talking around um about ancient memories like the dna within a particular uh, substance so like whether it be in a plant so it has an ancient dna or an ancient memory that it's striving itself to grow and develop so that's sort of the the understanding that I got from uh, these these particular these two kupu tupu wakawa tawito kawa, and then you can, and then following that you have the different stages which we've, we've which can be labelled as stages of growth that follows forth, that follows these these two line, and I think the the turu uh, turu turu te kawa wakamana is a consecration of the kawa, and kotetehi terapia waanga. Or the cover of life principles is uh, order, and um, and the order coming from in this case uh, Rangi Nui, Etu Nei, and so as we've spoken uh, about before, Rangi Nui being you know the Rangi Nui that we can see out there, but also within the Tangata uh, as well, and Kaidaida e Pupuake e Koro Pupuake tonu ite order no oia no ngā matua no Rangi Nui Etu Nei no Papa Tuanuku e Takoto Nei. And I see the Haruru Te Kawa. Uh, I, I think it talks about the, um, I think this is the right to Kupu Baka, the reverberance or the, yeah, of of the Kawa resonating and permeating a particular place. So, you know, Kiuta Kitai, you know, Ka, Katawi Homaira, then they met the Tapu, Edotu Itafari Pea, Naika Hangai, then they Kiroto Itafari. So, 
yeah, that's that's my little sort of take on on this uh, this court all. If if we unpack that word um, law l o r e a little bit, yeah, kind of get to a point where we we're saying that then they met the kawa is is a body of ways of being and doing in line with um, uh, ancient natural uh, systems. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I kind of come to a simplest point of te nei mea te kawa, it's a way of being, doing that has a you know, deep-rooted sense of connection to uh, a natural, a, a nat our natural connection to place. And that yep. um, that kawa provides a very 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 um, systematic uh, um, way that has very, very really really strong references back through time that guides us in a way mm. forward. Yeah. So I think when when we did when we used to do a little bit of wānanga on te nei mea te kawa, and you know it's that it's something that really really emerged is that you know there are a set of ways of being a, a set of um, processes because mm. to to embed kawa you, there's a there's a pro or to to enact kawa there's a process and a ceremony and a ritual to do that mm. yes. but the important mm. thing is that it's rooted in in the origins of natural uh, our natural connection to the natural environment yeah in kuida you know hang in at yeah or tera waka marama him uh ki o korero uh moi because when I when I think about te aurara, when I think about you know ngā wa'a atai, um, yeah. you know that actually describes our origins and that system, which guides um, all those things that we adhere to and and abide to, right? Mm. Um, and you know it sets out you know in, um, around kawa, you know the place of tapu, um, and when we talk about tapu, we don't talk about tapu in the sense of it's sacred. We talk about tapu in terms of certain things are restricted or there are certain constraints um, that are placed, um, you know, on things. And I think, you know, when we start to decolonize our own minds of uh, mm. the sort of Western perspectives and views of some of these sort of deep foundational sort of um, um, understandings, um, we start to see the real importance of it. And that's why I'm always in awe of our tupuna um in terms of their understanding and connection to the natural world but the way in which um ritual and ceremony um sort of affirmed that understanding that, that those ways of being and knowing um and i think that's a really probably good segue in terms of you know we've got the um opening of the house this weekend to poi and when we think about these notions this notion of koan and um, what that means and in the context of opening a house. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 And so there's a there's a very clear and systematic um, ritual and ceremony that's carried out. Mm. That's right. In a system that has um, strong references back to our um, connection to these elemental um deities and that help us understand and express the kawa mote whare in a particular way yeah and so that kind of for me that references your karaki prior to that mohi that we yeah. have a strong deep rooted sense of um uh connection back to our primordial parents mm. that yeah, provide a kawa and a system and a way of being and doing uh, that forms itself in different kawa and, and when i think about being and knowing it and when i think about that right because it's reinforcing our our identity and our foundations um yeah, and so it's an uh, tangata nei, yeah, yeah it's an affirmation right yeah. uh, tangata nei ana e mete kaupapa, or whether it's a waka or a house or, or whatever um yeah yeah, there's plenty, plenty of layers um, in, uh, related to you know, uh, tupua kawa, tawhito kawa, te kawa, kawa. They, they're almost frameworks um, that, uh, that these narratives that can actually give us guidance around how do we, how do we um, deliver, how do we present ourselves in alignment with these, uh, with these kawa. 
and I, I think maybe um, maybe in the future um, maybe there's a, a need for us to have a look at uh, these uh, the longer narrative to understand how do we how do we practice the right ceremony practice or how do we how do we perform these ceremony practices in alignment with the kawa that's been recorded within our narratives and that's why i suppose over the years that that's just been a bit a uh, little bit off because we haven't had the, the these teachings to assist us in carrying out uh, particular ceremonies within a particular context well, i think uh, i think well you know me marama te tangata ni um i think you know i've always um i've always been a big believer and this is i guess him like with te miringa and huirangi and others um mm. you know kawe taki te karakia mo te taki noi o mm. um yeah. Um, you know, I think, you know, yeah. for me, it's really having a deep understanding of uh, the karaki itself um, and then, you know, how it's applied and context and all of yeah. those sorts of things. And mm -hmm. it's certainly something that I know Hemi and I over the years, it's always important to understand context, right? That's right. Um, That's right. And so for application purposes, um, it aligns well with uh, the narrative, uh, which well, essentially... I um goes back to the um to the timatanga rabot the door of timatanga o teo i think um the, the, there's a saying now uh, it goes uh the name of names is the father of all things um <laughs> 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 i know so so I'm, uh, the, 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 my intent this there's another narrative to that but my intent is really about if you really are uh, uh, up with the play you really understand your karakia the narrative that goes with it, the origin of it, how it came about, what is the pūrāku that 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 uh, uh, that, uh, that karaki comes from? Um, if you that, that the person that has that understanding of those karaki with that, you know, all those things I've outlined, now, I'm sure there's others. Um, then, then um, he could, you know, that person could actually apply it appropriately to the occasion, yeah. depending yes. on the occasion, of course. Yeah, yeah, and uh, make it. Um, uh, suit the occasion because he has that understanding hmm. and is able to marry it up. I'm talking about in today's context, sorry. Uh -huh. if, you have that, if you have that understanding of the ancient uh, world, we'll say it that way, and apply it appropriately to today's context, um, I think, you know, just going along to your point, uh, Jamie, um, so it, it's important, it's, it's a must actually to, yeah. to, to yeah. know these kind of care, why, the what's, the hows, as opposed mm -hmm. to do it because it sounds great. Mm. Um, yeah, and but, we, yeah, but I think, well, you know, like, so for us, I mean, so I mean, those of you that have been sort of on the journey for the last 14 weeks with us, <laughs> it's, um, you know, a lot of these concepts are foundational concepts, right? Um, so again, you know, the reason we're, we're talking about kawa as a concept and as Hemi is described, really important to understand that because it, it gives you, um, yeah, that understanding that context as to. You know why and how you see references to kawa in particular karakia and poi and other things mm -hmm. i suppose just to i think what's probably um, been happening recently is that we've probably introduced so many kōrero from so many areas and so um there's lots of kōrero coming into oh which, which is great to go and, and understand it but i think there's a um an appetite to find find a particular kōrero uh, that aligns with a Taranaki theme, I suppose, um, and trying to work out, okay, you know, when do we use the maru, when do we use, you know, the tāne, when do we use the tawake, when do we use, you know, all these diff different narratives. Uh, I think there's an appetite, I suppose, now where um, people are looking for, okay, so what is our kōrero and what do we use? And that's a very hard question to <laughs> to answer too sometimes um, because we, we know within i raro i to te, te atamara to tata nei maunga, he nui ngā kōrero. Ia yeah, tērā um, kōrero moi. Eh, to ia mo kura no. Ia mo kura no. Yeah, so aligning it. yourself with, 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 with your house of knowledge, I suppose. Well, and, and, um, yeah, that's that's a, that's a, actually this is a good point, you know. Um, uh, and like, uh, that, I don't know how many true wānanga with whare wānanga we've got within just in the Taranaki region. There were heaps. Yeah. So, uh, and, and then there are some people who came out of 
more than one uh, wānanga. I think that's probably why the Matua um, um, uh, coined that phrase because of those understandings that he came out of two wānanga. He understands there are two narratives. There are similarities, but again, they're still different. Hmm. So I, I think that's just something for our people, our listeners, to be very uh, conscious of uh, when they're <clears> moving <throat> around our maunga. Mm. It's not to say mm. it's wrong. It's just celebration in the way that they 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 saw their uh, their world from their point of view and their environment that they were living in. So, yeah. A point is, why you don't want to do it? Because you could have had it on the day I'm going to be a tattoo in a wiki. Could have had a mind. I didn't know. Well, we know that the um. Uh, the the Tomokmare um, Kanahi is happening this uh, coming weekend, and we know that you know one of the one of the uh, the, the special karakia tanga uh, korero or the waiata is heata. And so I thought we'll just put this up and um, just in alignment with uh, the mor- the the morning ceremony and uh, how this aligns with the opening of the uh, of of a um, So. Da hiata ki dunga hiata ki daro hiata ki te waka tu tu hiata ki te waka di tu di tu hiata wia hiata rawia hiata taonga e taonga. And so this is one of on um, there might, might be about six or seven different uh, uh, six or seven verses of this particular uh, karakia that I know. Um, and if we have a look at it, probably a face value. Uh, we can uh, look at the morning and the the breaking of dawn or the opening of the dawn. Um, so we'll look at that at the, in the first instance, um, and then we'll align it up with the actual whare, the opening of the whare. So hiatakidunga So these are just two lines that are describing papa uh, the poor kiteau. Uh, so it's just um, in, in reference to uh, those two, what well, probably bodies. Uh, I think the key words here is uh, tu tu, uh, so uh, to be sta- upstanding or making something stand up. In this case, you know, kaite kaite wakatu mai ra te po. Rito rito. If we have a look at the the kupu rito. And in reference to the probably the harakiki is probably the best uh, best way to describe uh, this. It's really the, the beginnings of dawn, yeah? and it's it's really a an action. Yeah? So the growing and the parting of um, the dawn, uh, the night into the day. Well, I've seen, you know, in some of the dictionary, the other fifi and rawia, uh, they are common sort of kupu. Uh, and I think I've seen it as one, one's been obtained and one's been acquired. Yeah. Uh, so, but I sort of see them as, um, in this case, the atta is being realized and is emerging and the atta is being secured and is taking place or has been formed. So if you think of it as a moving morning dawn breaking um, action or appearance, the emergence of teata, ana he ata taonga he he taonga tene mahi he taonga tene tiro hanga ki te wakatu tu mai ra o teata. So it's just referred to as a, as a taonga. Now if we align this with the opening of uh, you can see we're, tr- we're, we're opening the door, we're opening uh, the house uh, for it to be, to breathe life into it. So you can apply the themes of this particular um, stanza to the opening ceremony process. So we make acknowledgements, kidunga, we make acknowledgements, kidaro, papa tuanuku rawa ko ranginui. We make acknowledgements as we, as we, open the house just like the opening of the door and then we also make it um it brings it to a state uh where um where what we're doing is being realized and so we're slowly opening up the house and then at the end of it we um we've secured and we've acknowledged uh the opening of the house or of the yeah of the house and then we say that you know 
e whare taonga kua tūwera. He, ya ha tēnei mea te whare e tū nei, he taonga. So as a simple sort of a sort of explanation about the words uh, itself, that's probably um, uh, the, the best that I could do at this time as far as waka marama. Who wrote this? I don't know who wrote this. Um, and I think there's a, there's a kōrero down in Whanganui as well. I've, I've heard this um, up, up in the Whanganui uh, River as well uh, being sung. Um, and, but I mostly hear our, our relations from Ngā um, who who have kept this waiata in this karakia tanga kōrero alive. E kupu a, a pitia kutu. Yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this karakia in um, in some tuhinga tupuna, um, and it's described as uh, e karakia karanga taonga uh, in two forms. But um, obviously, as you described to Pohi, it's it's commonly used by our um, our uh, relations in Ngārua, isn't it? And um, mm. in Koto o te tonga yaotea, but I've seen it in a manuscript um, from Taranaki Iwi as well. In he kia kene he karanga taonga karakia karanga taonga so it's a it's a it's a karakia or a, um yeah a karakia that uh, brings on the I say the fruits of a of, of something new and mm. that takes the form you know it, it's symbolized and conceptualized in something new meaning meaning the way in which the dawn bring forth bring forth bring light. forth our uh, light um to 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 bear upon us in a new day yeah and so that's another interesting concept mm. how the, the the dawn or the the morning or the the, the 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 rise of the new sun every day or the rise of the new sun brings forth our new potential new opportunities warmth and light mm. and um you know in times of despair uh but also brings forth uh a new tonga Hmm. Uh, it just happens to be that um, uh, it, it will, it's generally applied to new tongue or in the concept of a funny, but can be applied in other ways. Yeah, and we know uh, we know that Waikato sing it as well, um, um, and so it has a purpose there with tene mea te tonga o te kingi tonga i e hapai nei e mo nei i Waikato, and so. Um, you know has has a lot of beautiful beautiful imagery i think this is you know in such a short little such a short little paragraph i'll say you know it's got such beautiful beautiful imagery because when we get up in the dawn those of us that are up early or have got up early in the past and have been and have experienced the um you know the crack of dawn euphoria. The, 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 yeah the euphoria <laughs> uh and even the dawn chorus for the way in which the birds bring forth yeah, that's right. Um, the, the new, the new, uh, the new dawn is, is really quite something special. So I, yeah, I think it's it's a beautiful piece. And yeah, I'll, I'll leave you guys to build on that. I, I think that the um, that you, you did right, uh, Hemi. Um, uh, <coughs> you know, when I see the you know, so you, you're talking about action. Things are starting to be active at that time of the morning, starting to wake up. But I do too for me, to me. Um, I'm not I'm not translating that, but the the metaphorical sense I see in that is about uh, you know the 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 world comes to life, so to speak. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tu tu te pūhu, yep. uh, and the fakarito rito. You know, there's bear fruit. It's the time to bear fruit to uh, into mm -hmm. the new day. Um, and and of course, the fifi and rawe are just those sort of things that the the, the verbs. I'll put it that way to what you're gonna if you be active and if you're able to be fruitful and you know get you know get fruit out of what you're trying to get out of the day naturally those other words are, are what happens if you are the result of being active yeah. uh, you know the early bird gets the worm type of understanding so, <laughs> yeah. you know so all of those are considered treasures you know living life is a treasure yeah, yeah. being alive is a treasure yeah and when we bring forth tanga into the new day they 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 become treasures yeah Aye. for mm, for yeah. humankind to access and and um uh to to experience and um yeah take hold of good point 
So, you know, ten, ten ne kōrero ne, it, 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 um, it's an example of what we spoke about earlier. Some beautiful instruction here. You talked about us being one and in sync with the taiao mohi. I mean, you know, just seeing the beauty of a new day um, and, you know, actually witnessing that and being active mm. and making the most of that day, you know, you'll reap the rewards and the benefits. So it, it reminds us of, you know, the potential that exists and what, what what can be if if we want it to be um and you know we had Tirangi Hiro day on um saturday and i i read Nga Hiraka mason sort of talked about um two things she said you know what Tirangi Hiro really demonstrated was two things um resilience and optimism and in her writings when she speaks about Tirangi Hiro she said resilience and optimism um, are choices we make. We can choose to be optimistic and we can choose to be resilient. Um, and, you know, just looking at this and listening to your beautiful kōrero tonight, it just reminds me that, you know, te hmm. uh, Courage our whānau, you know, as the summer months come, you know, and the sun comes up early now, I mean, get up early and just sit and just witness and observe the new day. Hmm. Yeah. Tika, tautoko. And I also I see the revealing of the Monday, the revealing and the emergence of life of life's giving. Um, so yeah, there's lots you can uh, apply to this particular wiyata uh, 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 um, But you know whatever you consider as being a taonga, uh, it comes from kirunga, kiraro, te wakatutu, te wakaritorito. You know so now. Have we got a got a bit of, oh yeah hot Sorry, just one more point. Sorry, I mean quite up here to eat take a kitea wa uh yawe te puana karungo yaku itaku kraua ite po mete at the two karwana po porangi te tangata na ingari epaka wai wai anna in uh karake to kuana epaka e prakitihi anna make it a yana yana kuriru. I tawa wā o te ata, i nga pōhoki, i te pōhoki ngari ka kite, ko wā te hoki te, te mm. roro, te hinengaro, te wairua ki te nei mea. Uh, oia no hei tauira, pe ki ngā kōrero pōti i a tātou te kōrero tia. Mm. Well, tika, te, tika te rā mohi, because, you know, there is a, um, there's a stillness in ka, you know, there's, there's a certain, at that, that transition, you know, from night to day, and even sort of day to, you know, the evening, it's, if we um th those yeah. of us that have heard the dawn chorus in the morning will know that it's 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 um you know it Definitely. shifts from it shifts from this stillness and this calmness to something that's quite deafening and if we if we follow the the the, the i suppose the logic if that's the right word of the way in which the birds called forth the fruits for the new day and um the activity began at that time. I can kind of reflect on on your quarter or about the old fellow um, Mohi. You know, he's probably imitating well our old people because that apparently was the time to to yeah. do your um, aruruku to do and practice your karakia at that point in time. And it's possible that you know, they're imitating our tuakana, our birds who who were calling forth the new day. Yeah. 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 Those of us that have experienced yeah. that is, is absolutely deafening. And they, when when you're out in the bush with birds at that time of the morning, they are actually telling people to get up to 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 feel the warmth and the fruits of and the opportunities That's the right. new day brings. Yeah, yeah. Take a don't we? Now, we we'll do the last. We do the last. We we'll do the last slide to because then we'll close. The yeah. Okay. Then. Must be your turn to lead off him. Oh, no, you'd be better to talk about these, bro. You kick off. Will someone move? Um, well, no. I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll start, Fano. So um, we thought, you know, some of the themes tonight, we've talked about kawa. Uh, we've talked about the importance of light. Because, you know, all of these are sort of symbols and reference points to, um, you know, why we open a house at a particular point in time, you know, particular time of the morning um and there are a couple of things here because i just wanted again drawing upon you know so here are three sort of examples taken from karakia and poi 
uh, of our old people. Um, and so the first one, piki atu i te pai pai mua o te ware o tāne, heuru, heuru, heuru pau, piki atu au i te pai pai roto o te ware o tāne, heuru, heuru, taku, taka pau. Um, so we all know what a pai pai is, right? And so just imagine standing in front of a house and then you're about to sort of walk towards and up to the maho of the house, the pai pai mua. Um, and then you're entering the house, heuru, o te ware o tāne. So we've talked about tāne, uh, mohi o karakia earlier. Um, heuru, heuru, heuru pau. Um, and so that concept of pau, and then piki atu au i te pai pai roto o te ware o tāne. So I've now entered the house, heuru, heuru, taku, taka pau. And I think, you know, when um, the use of taka pau uh, is, is uh, something that is unique to uh, Taranaki Wanganui, where we see the use of taka pau, those, you know, this, the, in ceremony and ritual, um, and so, you know, what that takapo provides. Then we go to the, the, the sort of next example here, um, which is taken from uh, Te Tui, um, which is another karakia for, um, you know, houses. Te Tui, of course, Tui. Ka Tui Kararama, we all know what that is. It's, it speaks about this light. So it says, Waka uru ia te um, So this, you know, imbue, embed this kawa this process, this system, this understanding. Ki te waiau te oh, yeah. You know, that ki te waiau, so we're sort of making it known, um, making people aware of it. Ki te marama. So, you know, we're, we're uncovering it, uncovering it, and uh, so it's, you know, it's being sort of witnessed and people can see and feel. Te kawanei, kauru, karawe, um, And so, you know, embedding this understanding, this this kawa within uh, this house, waka o, uh, tēnei mea, te, te o, um, you know, this light, this radiant light. I, I like radiant light because our tupuna te rangi pua o, you know, um, <laughs> radiant light, waka o te takapo. Uh, and then, but, you know, waka o te takapo, no, so you've, you've, the symbolism here is we've laid forth this mat, the ceremony is being performed, and, you know, and the beautiful thing about that dawn ceremony is you're you're waiting for the the light of the new day, which we yep. talked about earlier, because it brings new potential. So now you're calling upon that light to sort of hit the ceremonial sort of mat before us, waka o kia penu, so that when it shines upon this mat, that it's becoming um, affirmed, fixed. So penu is always sort of in a lot of it, a lot of our karakiahim, the, the concept of penu. Um, and then the third example here is uru atu au i te pai pai tapu o te ware o tangaroa heuru rangi, heuru rangi taku taka pau e hai. So these are sort of uh, three examples of, uh, or segments from particular karakia um, that relate to the opening of houses um, and this whole notion of crossing the threshold. And you might want to talk about the context of how we go around inside the house hem um, and sort of, you know, the reference to the, these, this particular kōrero. Uh, Mohi, you got anything to add? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, you might you might jolt, jolt me if you think you start off, bro. Um, oh no, yeah, no, I, don't, I think the, the key thing to, to to note really is is is, is um, probably associated with the you know the cross the crossing of the threshold and the way in which um, these particular parts of our karaoke kind of facilitate that. I mean, there are obviously through the process of opening the house in its broader sense, you're bringing it to light, you're bringing this new tower to light. You, you almost, I don't know if birthing is the right word, um, but we're bringing this, we're bringing this new tower to light to, to, um, um, and we're imbuing a kawa, a way of being and, and system associated with its um, ongoing and future use. Yeah. Hmm. And so part of that process is to to bring people across the threshold as a process to um, uh, reaffirm its future occupation and um, bring light to that process and um, release it of its constraints, if I can say that. And the imagery here kind of speaks to that through the rolling out of the takapo, through, you know, the symbolism of the takapo. I mean, quite aside from the fact it's used to bind and reinforce and embed and empower, it's um, 
also there to as a symbol of you know occupation yeah he order did no hope so that that you know that that sort of um it sort of ties in now because because i'm looking at you know because you've got the modi too because someone in case somebody asks about the modi <laughs> the modi is about for the for the funny and i'm hearing mm. you say which is quite in the you know then the rest is up to mankind then you know, the modi's done its part and it's still it's still there but then we we've got to embody what is there i mean we've got to give uh uh, otherwise, we become the physical manifestation, right? That's right. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Why did that? No, I also I also think that aligns with obligation and responsibility. Um, you know, so the threshold that you're crossing could be the physical threshold of the whare nui, hmm. but it's actually that um, the threshold of actually. Um, acquiring and the uh, the inherited responsibility and obligations that go with um, having a fare, having a taonga. I, I think it also talks about that type of threshold uh, as well. So it could be a mind shift, it could be a ngako shift, it could be a waiaro. Um, so crossing that threshold to grab the responsibility to ensure that the taonga that you have opened and received um, is taken care of. Because I remember a time in the um uh the kuya uh nana i moi kia taitua kingi the tohunga nana ruka in Fakago, in a tana a two my tana fare, right? And the tana fare you tear out to Taha, called the Marai Kupa Karaka, he part to hang out to Kutona fare. The way to Faka eat the two raki, uh, uh, Napaki, it on a fare. We got two dia tete a chikanga, Kamea by, to a tahika, Kahutia, the Pai Pai Mua, a tona fare matua, a tona tatau matua. So just to say, because um, one of the other areas we're saying is that uh, it's not the Modi, I can't remember the word that they used, but it was also because it was the, the hold of all the, um, our energy as we walk through. This is a whare, not a whare nui, but her actual house of residence so i noticed that with there's only two occasions where i've seen that where they actually lifted the pipe pipe before they broke the house down and then yeah. they used that for another house when they where tai tai to a king he lives now right just that's interesting um, that's an interesting that because that um that reminds me of a couple of other quarter or about you know how the old people would uh pick the whati toka up so when you walk through the doorway well um and then um got the pai pai mua uh i've heard of instances where parts of pataka were taken and um re-established in other parts of the country uh in the same you know following the same um yeah mm. but, you know yeah but the key thing here i mean you know what i love about because this is i mean probably another point him which you could touch on is that you know a, a lot of our karakia and our quarter or reference tangarua even yep. put i mean there's there's a number um of karakia and waiatapoi for opening houses and tai te kawa which reference uh, tangarua um and there's there was the tuya that uh, that was taught to our whanau when we went up and did oo kitarangi um one of the other stanzas to uh, tuya uh references um hetira toku um you know reference to tangarua and then it references uh, ruaki pauri and te tau te pō, which 
you know, you talked about that earlier karakia mohi, you know, sort of it takes us back to our origins um, because in a lot of our kōrero, you know, and you think about the wahatai, um, there's a lot of those references to tangaroa. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, yeah. you know, which well, you know, people may hear tangaroa being referenced and it's a house, but, yeah, maybe kōrero te he tahi kōrero him. I, I, I have my own... I don't know if theory is the right word, but if you think about Tangaroa and the context, mo kura, mo Yeah, yeah. Well, if, if we think about um, ko tēnei iwi taranaki nui tonu, karapotia nei a Tangaroa. So, um, and if we think about the prominence of uh, Tangaroa in, in our old people's lives, if we think about the establishment uh, of, of villages and kāinga, they were all relatively close uh, to to the tide. So if we think about things in that context, I think Tangaroa, or Tangaroa definitely has become um, a kind of a prominent atua for us mm. here in Taranaki because Tangaroa features so prominently in so many ways through Karakia, through Waiata, through Kōrero, and obviously through the way in which Papa Kainga and broader and large kainga were, were established because tangaro was our main um, form of sustenance. That's not to say tāne didn't feature, but um, I think, you know, we compare ourselves perhaps to an inland tribe whose primary yeah. atua was probably tāne, and so you might see um, the prominence of Tani and the way in which Tani features in the ways of being, the ways of thinking, the ways of doing certain things and approaching things in a particular way. Now, that's not to say those inland tribes didn't have a kawa, a, a kaupapa or a kura associated with, with Tangaroa, but the, it's quite possible that they, Tangaroa might not have been quite so prominent. But for us here, I believe Tangaroa was very prominent. I think it goes to show that I mean it, it's the environment that the, the, the saying two examples like you know if you're brought up near the mountain the maunga your corridor was the maunga you brought up in mm. the bush your corridor was the ngahere you brought up near the sea your corridor is is the sea so I think that's the re very reflective of the environment that our people will and also the ex the way they 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 mana motuhaki to exercise the understanding of the environment that they, if they knew it, because if they grew up in that environment, that's obviously will show out very strongly in the narratives in Karakia mm -hmm. and, and Purako and such, but it doesn't actually discount the fact that the other Atua did figure there, uh, probably not so dominantly as they would, as, as we're seeing in some of the examples here. Hey, cool it all. Mm. I just see here, Pātai kei kunei mehe mea he atua wahine i roto i ngā karakia me ngā kōrero. Um, and they definitely are. Um, you know, we've got uh, para whenua mea, para karu karu, hine tua hoanga, hine wai hirere, riko riko. Actually, that might be something we'll, we'll um, you know, hey, that's a good reminder for us. So, we'll uh, <laughs> maybe next week we'll, we'll pull out some karakia tanga kōrero e pāna ki ngā, ki ngā tua wahine. Yeah. Um, I can tell you what, though, a number of our karakia, when you see references to particular atua wahine, um, they hold the mana, you know, you think about uh, para, para wenua me and para karu karu, um, you know, the, yeah, hine rua ki pauri, hine rua ki pauri. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, so we, we do have our kōrero, I suppose we haven't been um, exposed, well, a lot haven't been exposed uh, because it's been so, uh, I don't know, maybe that's the world we've, we've lived in. And um, we know even the writers where most of them, a lot of our old writers, well, non-Māori writers were, had a different type of lens too and only recorded what they saw uh, from a male point of view. Um, but I think there will be a, a session around um, Atua Wahine, Atua Wahine. Uh, we can make it a... I do see that it's a quarter past nine. Uh, we didn't quite get to our, um, our, our questions. No, no, I just got to. Oh, no. oh. oh. no, 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 no,
right. uh, and we do know that um, there were some questions that were uh, sent through uh, to Te Kore Mako. Um, we will find time to um, um, to answer some of those questions. Some of them are, are quite long as far as um, how we will uh, 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 our approach in addressing some of the questions. Um, but maybe just just as a as a final sort of um, uh, corridor for tonight. Maybe we can just touch on, um, there is a question around uh, Pūdāko. Uh, so we know Pūdāko around the around Maunga uh, the, and also Ngārui. You know, are there any more that uh, that we can learn? And so that's just one question that was posed for, for this week's panel um, around other Pūdāko. Um, I've got my thoughts around it. I'll maybe hand it over to you, Hemi. Yeah, definitely. There are... Um... There are some beautiful pūdāko paki maero that each, I suppose, each hapu and um, whānau would, would carry, but just some that come to mind, perhaps. Um, there's some beautiful kōrero about tamahua. Um, yeah. if, if, and, and that's relatively easy. I mm. won't say relatively easy to find, but if you're, um, if you're up that way, uh, up, you know, there's, there's definitely kōrero about tamahua. There's some beautiful kōrero about tamahua in his time here. Um are oh, from uh, Kurahopo, uh, marriages into people in the Bay of Plenty, and of course the Hukapapa down and the connection through Kurahopo back into Oakura. There are some beautiful place names in Oakura that carry and bear uh, 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 names in reference to, to Tamahua's deeds, and of course there's a strong association with the Ponamu as well through Tamahua. So that, that's a beautiful one. There's mm. some beautiful kōrero about uh, Pōtikiroa and Hinetua and mm. Atumuaki and their um, journeys and travels to the west coast of the South Island, how um, how their relationships that they built down here formed the basis of uh, relationships here in Taranaki and, of course, the deeds for which um, give rise and origin to the coming of the sands here on this west coast. So... Those two particular, there's some beautiful quarter or about um, eh, Tūranga Pūrehua and Tarangi Paitaa and the, um, the Tene Taonga Te, uh, te Kahawai, which mm. we know is uh, prevalent in uh, here in particular river mouth and, some, and, and across our, our reef system. So, yeah, there's some beautiful quarter that, that mm. we could perhaps explore over the course of time. I suppose one one that comes to mind is a classic sort of a uh, narrative for say say out there is the two tai poro poro uh, that that comes to mind um, and I suppose there's there's other ones there's, there's lots of what would you call them unions uh, uruki naki and um, kahu tai arua um, and potaka taniwa and those ones for for the north here. Uh, so there, there are quite a lot of um, narrative or pūdāko. Um, I, I find that there's a lot related to, um, you know, kamui titihi ki titihi. <laughs> you know, whether it's been a, a gifting or or uh, well, tarau mahoro, it's a classic, um, and takarangi is a classic corridor that um, that's prominent here uh, up in north north uh, north Taranaki. Jamie. Well, I think hey, um, there are what I call, you know, some of those foundational narratives. And I think over the weeks we've talked about, um, and certainly I know for me personally and what I've really shared over the, Hemi and I have shared in common, um, and our wānang is having a real um, good understanding of some of these foundational narratives and what the sort of lessons are, if you like. Um, you know, so the narrative about apakura and tūwakararo, um, and, you know, a lot of these, you know, Maui, um, but understanding the Maui narrative from a Taranaki sort of perspective, um, yeah. you know, all of those, all of those sort of, um, narr you know, all of those sort of, yeah, those narratives, mm. which you see these, you know, and see the, the thing about Karaki and Waiata, a reference to Tawaki, um, but, you know, understanding the na Tawaki narrative as it relates to um, Taranaki. And so we see references of Tawaki, um, what is that? You know, what what is that? Demo, you know, what what's the connection there, and what's the um, what's it referencing? Um, and so, you know, a lot of these tupuna and these narratives um, sit within Karaki and Waiata as short, uh, you know, just short references. But there's a deeper meaning 
Um, and so, but once you understand those narratives, it brings some context to to that karaki or that kōrero. Um And we had a couple tonight, right? You know, tāne, tāne mata ue, as you say, mohi, you know. So do we, how well do we know um, those various faces or um, characteristics of tāne and how they relate to our everyday life and or ceremony or ritual? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I was just thinking when you were uh, speaking there, Jamie, about around our tiki, tiki hawaiki, so we know that you know we've had a discussion around how that symbolizes um or human beings or humans and so those are all, all narratives as well um that derive from uh the origin story uh, but have a particular focus on um the emergence of of of, of humankind so we can so just, like you yeah. said yeah. So, like you said, you know, when it's when when say tiki is referenced in the particular karakia or wayata, well, you have a deeper understanding of its origin itself. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, no, no. I just when we were talking about that, I just my mind went back to, I think it was you or him. I can't remember which one. One of you two mentioned when we we're talking about Reno Matua. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. So uh, that and, um, my mind just shot back to that because we were starting to talk about the first principles. Who was was, was the first the chicken or the egg? And you know that sort of thing. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so in the things. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But then they say that they, I mean, they are. Uh, mm. um, I think they're the, for myself. They're uh, they're one point of you know it's a way of validating and their, their existence, our old people's existence, that they were there. And these are their 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 way of saying their uh, how would you say this was their Facebook of their time. Yeah. The reference points, right? The markers yeah, and reference points. points. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think you know, to siena. Um, you know, when we think about um, humanity, katoa katoa he nei korero ko korero tia nei tata ite po nei ido tuinga wiki ko taake nei. Um, you know, these foundational narratives, these ways of being and understanding have shaped our very um, humanity. Um, and I think for me, you know, that simple quarter of our old people, you know, koutou rā ngā kanuhi o rā o koutou tupunei te pō, haramai e rā rau. I mean, simple words, but that for me speaks to the depth of, you know, we are the living faces of those that have departed to the darkness, you know, because we are the, the living manifestation of our old people and you know and then and that so we we carry we um manifest all of those things yeah i suppose just to align with that <laughs> um i remember uh, just somebody mentioned that, that that you know what somebody said oh yeah no we are a representation of our ancestors and then somebody else um replied actually you are your ancestors you are the so face of your a, ancestors yeah, yeah yeah so instead of like like we are a representation of them no no you are them and yeah. so when we talk about your just like what Mo'i was saying you know, well, then, you, that, you, that makes us, then, then, then that makes us our two puna. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might close it there. Or I think, okay, or else I can see, yeah, okay, close it up, boys. I, I can tell that, you know, I think, you know, uh, if you are still watching and you still clicked in, you know, mihiatu mihiatu ana kito kahato maia, kita mata kita kimi kita wakarongo mai da ki ki nei kori ro mihi kawake. The poi, I mean, I just I just saw our internal chat here, Fano, and I was going to raise this, but I just saw because for me, you know, we've talked about do we really know if this whole gender thing for our atua hei fakarua ro tanga matata. You know, yeah, uh, we've yeah. got our, we've got tēnei kupu te ia. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And then yeah. tērā pia ko tāne, he wahine he tāne rā nei, ko ia rā nei. He whakāroaro tāna mā koutou e, e mā takitaki ana i te pōnei, nō reira, mehe mehe kōrero, tukuna mai, anā, a tērā wiki pia ko kōrero tia te take nei. Yeah, ok, i, kai da mōhiwa te te hitangata, kua tuhia nui te ara, 
tērā momo kaupapa, uh, rima rau mano a kupu i tuhingi o mai rā mō tērā kaupapa ake. Uh, so um, there, there are ones who have uh, written thesis around uh, the gender uh, question within our language, and so uh, maybe it's an opportunity uh, to dive into um, some of that that corridor. Well, no, tēnā koe, Jamie Otira, tā koutoe mā takitaki mai nei. No re, hei waka ka pia ki i tō tātou nei tō nei. Uh, nā, mauri ora ki ronga, mauri ora ki raro, mauri ora ki waingaru i a tātou e kuhu mai nei. E ronga hei waka uh, ki ronga tūturu, waka mau ki a tēnā. Tēnā. Hui e. Tāiki e.